Hello, my name is Brian and I'm a technical support engineer here at ScreenMeet. And today's video will cover the ScreenMeet remote support tool using the ScreenMeet console. To start, I've already navigated to console.screenmeet.com and logged in with my credentials. Once I am logged in, I will be greeted with our homepage that gives us the capability of starting a remote support session. As a note before we move forward, your organization may not have the functionality shown in this demonstration if your ScreenMeet administrator has disabled the features. I will firstly see options to record this session, start with remote control, or start with administrator access. These settings can be set to start automatically as well if your ScreenMeet administrator has set up your organization to do so. To start a session, I will simply enter a description of the support session and click the Create Now button. Once the session has been created, I can provide the end user or customer a link or instruct them to go to myhelpscreen.com to download the application for the session. If your organization has pre-deployed the MSI client or pre-installed Mac package, when the user clicks on this link, it will give them the option to automatically open the support session on their machine without needing additional downloads. To begin, I will click on the link as the end user to download and run the file. Once the user has accepted the terms and condition of the session, the agent will see a button that allows them to enter the session. Once we are connected, we can now see the end user screen. We also see a toolbar to the right of the agent viewer with our support tools. This toolbar can be collapsed by clicking on the arrow icon can also be detached and moved using the square icon. The first feature we'd like to display is the request screen annotation feature. When this is clicked, the agent can draw on the screen, activate a laser pointer, draw shapes on the end user's machine, and undo or clear all drawings. Up next is the remote control functionality, which allows the agent to drive the machine's mouse and keyboard. Once the end user has accepted the terms, we are now able to control the machine. Up next is the Windows Tools option. This allows you to run different types of frequently used commands and tools to streamline the troubleshooting experience. Inside of Windows Tools, we can escalate the session to administrator privileges. This can also be done automatically at the start of the session as noted before. This can be done either via admin credentials in a domain or by requesting local administrator. Now that we have escalated to admin privileges, the agent can type into UAC prompts and also log in as the user as well. The first section is the tool section, which allows us to send commands such as the admin terminal, task manager, or reboot and connect if needed. Please note that some of these commands require administrative elevation before they can be ran. Up next is the custom tools option, which allows your ScreenMeet administrator to create custom commands that your organization frequently uses to save time and improve the agent and customer experience. Next is the desktop subsection of tools, which allows you to minimize all windows, show the desktop, and more. Up next is the Explorer option, which allows you to open Windows Explorer, open Quick Settings, and more. Up next is the System subsection, which allows you to open Network Connections, Registry Editor, Control Panel, and more. Lastly, we have the option to execute a command in the machine through the ScreenMe Agent Viewer. We can run the command using PowerShell as admin and keep the terminal open after running. We also have the option to pre-store the user's credentials by clicking on the key icon at the top right of Windows Tools. This will prompt the end user to enter their password to enable automatic login after reboot. Up next is the remote clipboard functionality, which allows the agent to copy text from their clipboard to the end user's machine and also copy text from the end user's machine to bring to the agent's machine. Next is the privacy curtain, which will gray out the user's screen. This can be helpful in cases where there is sensitive information that the user should not be able to see that they will always have the option to exit the privacy curtain as shown.
Up next is our screenshot functionality, which allows the agent to take a screenshot of what is currently visible on the end user's machine. They can either download it to their computer, upload it to the end user's computer, or upload it to the ScreenMeet Live session. Our next feature is the system information pane, which shows metadata about the end user's machine. This data is stored as part of the session log if it needs to be referenced after the session has taken place. Zoom to original size allows you to scale the view of the agent viewer to the original size rather than rescaling the view of the machine to fit inside of your browser. Switching displays allows you to either switch the display or show both displays simultaneously in cases where the end user has multiple monitors. The stream performance option allows you to downscale the stream FPS and stream resolution in cases where the end user or customer is having network connectivity issues. Viewer Invite Agents allows you to invite other agents to use in a swarming capacity. You can invite a higher tier of support or a subject matter expert into the session to more quickly resolve the end user's issue. File transferring allows the end user or agent to transfer files between each other. Please note that this may not be bidirectional if your ScreenMe administrator has configured the file transfer functionality. You can also chat with the end user by clicking on the chat button. This can be helpful if you're working through a different live chat system or phone call and you get disconnected and need to reconnect with the end user. Lastly is our session information pane at the bottom of the agent viewer. This includes the session duration, connection quality, and connection info. You can click on connection info to see if there's any packet loss, low bandwidth, and more if you are encountering any quality issues with the session. As a note, remote support also works on Mac OS, Android, and iOS. As shown here, we can see our Mac device, which has nearly identical functionality outside of the Windows tools being replaced by Mac tools. On the iOS view, we have similar functionality, but due to Apple restrictions, remote control is not currently supported. To end the session, we will simply click on Leave Session and Close Session. Pressing the Leave Session option leaves the support session open if it needs to be rejoined shortly after. Once the agent has closed the session, they will have the option to review the session. To review a session, we can click on My Session History inside of ScreenMate Console. Once we have clicked on My Session History, we will isolate the session that we just had and click on the ID. Once we have clicked on the ID, we will see session information such as the session ID, when the session was created, duration, and more. Next, we have our session log, which includes granular data about what happened in the session, including when features were enabled, when features were disabled, and when users joined the session. Up next is the system information, which we saw a little bit earlier, that allows the agent to review the device information about the end user's machine after the session has already taken place. Up next is our files or attachments, and inside of here we can see the screenshot that we took earlier, the transfer that we did a little bit earlier, and the session recording as well. This concludes the ScreenMeet Remote Support and ScreenMeet Console Overview. Definitely let us know if you have any questions. We'd be glad to assist. Thanks and have a great day.